Hello again, everybody. It's uh, Brian Allen Walsh with NewOrleans.com. I'm up, up in the press box at the University of Phoenix Stadium after a, a disappointing loss by the New Orleans Saints to the Arizona Cardinals, 30 to 20. This uh, this loss moves the Saints to three and two, and now the equivalent of uh, two games behind Atlanta in the NFC South race. Atlanta beat Cleveland 20 to 10 up at Brown Stadium. So it makes uh, next Sunday's road game at Tampa Bay all that more important. Uh, Tampa Bay squeaked by and beat uh, Cincinnati 24-21 at Paul Brown Stadium. So suddenly the, the Saints are in for quite a, a tussle there in the NFC South. Uh, it, today's loss uh, mirrors really the way this team has been playing for much of the season. They were able to jump out on top of Arizona an Arizona team that has been absolutely inefficient offensively for much of the season, playing with a, with a rookie quarterback, Max Hall, in his first NFL start. Um, they jumped out 10 nothing, and really from then on, it was just a struggle offensively. Defensively, they give up less than 200 yards, and uh, the final score is 30 to 20. The Cardinals scored 21 points on touchdown, on turnovers, excuse me, a fumble return for a touchdown, an interception return for a touchdown, and uh, a third a third as well. Uh, a field goal uh, also was followed up after uh, another missed field goal by John Carney, 29 yards wide left that would have broken a 13-13 tie. Uh, Sean Payton will be faced now with what to do with his kicking situation. He has uh, a young a young kicker in Garrett Hartley who was erratic, was hopefully going to be mentored back to good health, good, good mental health by John Carney. And now John Carney comes in and misses an equally easy, makeable 29-yard field goal. So uh, it's, uh, that kicking situation is going to be interesting to see how it develops in the next week. Um, Another case of a team, uh, an offensive unit that has struggled in the red zone. I think 13 plays for 22 yards in the red zone. Instead of putting up touchdowns or field goals, they're coming away empty in many cases. And Drew Brees addressed that in his post-game press conference, as did Sean Payton. And, and this team obviously is disappointed and frustrated. Sean Payton says it is not a crisis. Cedric Ellis says it's not time to panic. John Carney says they have to do things right. And you know what? Everybody keeps saying that there's a lot of football left. Well, each week you squander an opportunity to win in the NFL. It leaves you one less opportunity. And that's where they are now. They're three and two. And it makes me think of a statement that, that uh, General Manager Mickey Loomis said back on the first day that he had a press conference with us back at the facility in New Orleans. He's interested to see how this team is going to react to success. Well, unequivocally, so far, this team has not handled success well. Brian Alley Walsh for NewOrleans.com. Aloha, everyone.